The fall colors are abundant with pumpkins and mums and changing leaves and it's time to share my fall home decor and I'm just sharing little snippets of my outdoor decor. I actually did a video of decorating that for you earlier so you can look at that if you're interested but my home is small so I keep it pretty minimal with some neutral fall colors and I love thrifting so a lot of it is thrifted decor but I did find a few things on Amazon that I will link for you if you're interested and of course using real pumpkins because none of our pumpkin stands are actually open around here but I was able to get in early to um, go buy some pumpkins so that I could decorate and share a video with you guys but my living space I enjoy it's so cozy um, it's just a place I love and I hope that when people come into my home they feel that same warmth and invitation to sit and relax and enjoy a cup of coffee with me. So just very simple, neutral with some thrifted throw pillows. The checkered pillow cover is from Amazon and I use that in my summer decor but I just left it very simple like I said. Um, one thing I've realized with throw pillows is they'll just end up on the floor when my girls play with them, which I don't mind all the time, but it is a lot of work to put them back on and take them off and back on and all that. And then my side table, um, just using natural sprigs. That's a very free and frugal way to decorate. And actually, I just clipped some of my decorative grasses and put them in my crock as well. So just very... Um, simple and candles candles are great for fall because the light nights are getting darker sooner and so just lighting a candle sitting by it and drinking some warm tea is always something I love so the wreath on that old window pane on my ship up wall is from Amazon it's a little more pink than I wanted but it's actually pulling like orange from the pillows on the couch and a little bit of the pillow on that love seat so it actually ties in pretty well um, and then my built-ins are very simple. I don't change out much, just added some extra wheat stems and um, just made it really, really minimal just with a few little faux pumpkins and some real pumpkins. So I did do a mix, but I'm not going to talk a whole lot more. I just want you to enjoy my simple, minimal, frugal home. I don't know if I mentioned but my gather sign was made by my brother and his sister-in-law so I do enjoy having that above my piano and then just some more wheat stems some real pumpkins those hanging baskets I always love to redecorate for the seasons I really didn't change much other than the picture that I have up top and there's a matching one over one of my vining plants too but it's just kind of a rustic barn um, I've seen these all over thrift stores before, so they are popular. So you could probably actually find one if you are interested in getting one of those. On those picnic baskets, that's where I store some of my kids' toys. So that pumpkin is just from um, the dollar spot. It's like a plush pumpkin at Target because if the kids are going to be getting in and out of that toy box, then I want something that's not heavy. And then little my little baby is swinging away in the swing to my kitchen space. I love this space because it's where I am 90% of the day. I feel like we do a little homeschool at the table. We eat in here three meals a day. I'm in here baking and cooking. Um, sometimes I'll even stand at the counter to work or edit videos because it's nice to have like a standing desk But I just kept it again pretty simple and neutral with my decor
dried plants and herbs are a good way to decorate for the fall season. So I have some Russian sage that I have hanging on my accordion rack. Um, some of those hydrangeas are real and some are faux. But I think if you can get your hands on some dried flowers, that is really neat and just, again, very affordable to decorate. You'll see I have some dried hydrangeas and some other dried flowers just in my decor this year. And I'm really liking the um, simplicity of that. I've been doing a simmer pot this year as well for fall with some cinnamon sticks, cloves, rosemary sprig, lemon, and I just let it run all day long. So that's on my stove. Some of the last of my zinnias are in a little pitcher as well, so I had to keep those out. So I just want to remind you as you watched my fall home decor video that this video was created for you to enjoy and to be inspired to decorate your home. It does not always look this perfect without some toys cluttering the floor, without kids around, without food being made. And so I just want to remind you of that and to take courage in knowing your home can still be beautiful even if you have other things around your home and just make it a place you love as I like to remind you. So I hope you enjoyed my fall tour and I hope you get to decorate this season with beautiful fall things that you love.